Hello, Dia colleagues. Uh, I mm, represent the Institute of Archaeology, Russian Academy of Sciences. Uh, our report is uh, devoted to the results of the archaeological excavations of the Darina II burial field. Uh, the number of archaeological works in Russia has uh, increased uh, due to active constructing. Uh, and often terms uh, of the excavations are strictly limited. Uh, so we need an appropriate method of work which will allow to explore the archaeological resource uh, carefully and in a short time. Uh, the Darina II burial field is uh, situated uh, 40 kilometers to the west from Moscow uh, near Darina village. Uh, in 2015, it contained uh, 33 burrows. Uh, eight uh, burrows and cultural layer were studied uh, in 2017. Uh, there were two excavation areas. Uh, five burrows formed a uh, northern group. It was uh, covered by woods. And uh, three ones formed a southern group. It was uh, near the forest. Uh, the method of work uh, consisted of the following stages. Uh, the first, uh, dividing each burrow into four sectors, formed by the intersection of two stratigraphic blocks, uh, removing layers according to the relief of the ground surface. Uh, after removing of the first layer, uh, cleaning, drawing and photo of surface, researching a burrow mount uh, through the layers, uh, fixation the site of each find in, accord in accordance with uh, stratigraphic layers, uh, fixation the plunderer's pits, grave pits, and small ditches at the level uh, from which each mount had been poured, uh, removing buried arable layer, cleaning and fixation of virgin soil, studying the stratigraphy of each mount in the box, and then removing box by hand. Uh, most of the studied burials had uh, similar stratigraphy, and uh, let's consider the example of the burial number eight. Uh, the upper layer was sought, and there was brown clay loam below. Uh, this layer uh, settled down on the whole area, and uh, the small ditches were filled up of this layer. Then uh, burial mount was researched. Uh, it was mixed uh, brown and white and clay loam. Uh, it was located on the territory between the small ditches. Uh, there, uh, there was a buried arable layer uh, below burial mound. Uh, it was brownish gray clay loam. Uh, and uh, then was uh, white and clay loam. This layer was on the virgin soil. When all of these uh, layers were searched, we explored grave pits and small ditches. There were two graves under the burial mound. Burials were not uh, disturbed uh, by plunderers' pits. Skeletons' bones were well fully preserved. Uh, the burial number one was uh, found associated with various women's uh, jewelry, as uh, the twisted talk, the twisted bracelets, uh, the wire temple ring, lattice, finger rings, rings, and various glass, crystal, and amber beads. Uh, these finds indicate that it was a female grave. Uh, the burial number two was found associated with the lattice fingering. Uh, the small size of the grave pit uh, proof, uh, proves uh, that it was a child's burial. There were seven burial remains revealed in all. Five of them were female graves, one of them was male grave, and one was child's burial. Most of the graves uh, were disturbed by plunderer's pits, except uh, burial number eight. Uh, skeleton's bones were fully preserved. There are several types of the found items. Most, uh, the most numerous are women's adornments, as known ferrous metal jewelry. Uh, jewelry. The twisted talk, the twisted bracelets, gemstone bracelet, um, the cross, and various Christian lunar and lattice pendants, the lattice and plated fingerings, while wire temple ring, and various 
temple rings fragments. Numerous uh, glass, uh, crystal and amber beads and uh, the belt buckle, some knives uh, were found. Most of uh, these uh, things uh, were found with burials. Uh, some items were found uh, in plunderer's pits, but all of the domains and uh, costume detail comes from burials. Uh, the studied uh, burials are dated uh, to the period of the 12th, uh, 13th centuries. Uh, during the excavation, Alexandra Goliva investigated uh, the soil of mounds. Uh, they had similar stratigraphy under the mounds a buried arable layer was identified. Uh, this indicates that the place was mastered by people long before the making of barrows. Uh, all mounds were built on arable land. Uh, the presence of Carbonaceous fractions indicates the slash and burn method of cleaning the area. Uh, thus, uh, the territory near the settlement was used for the making of uh, burial mounds. And uh, one interesting fact uh, about burial number six, and uh, as an example of uh, natural impact, the amount of this burial and the layers below were disturbed by numerous animals' burrows. Uh, Barrows had a complex teeth branch structure forming an, uh, enti an entire underground uh, town. Uh, they were probably made by badgers. The central part under the mound was highly disturbed. Uh, they must have destroyed uh, the grave. Uh, fragments of skull and long, long leg bone were found in the barrows. Uh, so, this method of work has allowed us to study the stratigraphy of mounds and uh, get uh, information about the stages of uh, the development of this area. Thank you.